Hi, my name's Starsky and welcome to From the Studio on Clubbing TV. In this episode, I'm gonna be taking a look at the weird but really, really wonderful hologram microcosm. And what is this exactly? Well, it started life as an effects pedal. You can see by the form factor, but you see loads and loads of videos on YouTube with people using this on synths. And that's because it takes a really simple input. It could take a really simple synth sound and create all these ever evolving wonderful textures from it. It's like a really amazing sonic playground. It's got a granular engine, it's got delays in it, it's got a reverb in it, and it just takes your sound and takes it into places you'd never expect. So let's plug it in and take a listen. And it's already come alive, hasn't it? I've got the stereo out of the tracker going directly to the stereo in of the microcosm. And the stereo out's just going to my interface. So everything that you hear is coming through the microcosm. And I've set up a pad just so that you can hear how this takes just a simple pad tone or, well, it's quite a complex pad tone, but starts pulsing and doing all sorts of weird stuff to it. So this is the dry signal. And as I turn it up, you can hear all sorts of wonderful goodness happening, can't you? You can hear that pulsating. And there's no pulsating on the original tone. You can change that pulse. You can filter it. change the effect We're on the sequence here. Let's put it down to, I don't know, go to mosaic. Which sounds nothing like this. Well, it sounds a bit like it, but just takes it and just takes it to places that you wouldn't think. Let's take a look at all those controls and what it all does. We can see here we've got four main categories of effect, glitch, micro loop, granules, and multi-delay, and they take the samples, as I say, and they do different things to it. In fact, if I look at the manual, I can tell you exactly what they do. And it says, micro loop is layers of short loops played back at various speeds, combined to form new rhythmic phrases and tonal colors. <laughs> Whatever that means, it just means it does cool stuff. And in granules, fragments of sound create giant atmospheres and subtle textural effects. In glitch, we've got real-time arrangements of your incoming signal, which play back at random or controlled intervals. So we get some really nice glitchy effects from that one. And then on multi-delay, well, we've got a multi-delay. It says it's a delay line with a selectable number of taps, which creates a wide variety of rhythmic and textural effects. So they all do these really weird rhythms and textures, but all do it in a slightly different way. And if we look at one of them, for example, so let's go into Mosaic. We're in Mosaic now. We can see here that we've got four different types of Mosaic. If we come down to Glitch, we've got four different types of Glitch four different types of interrupt, four different types of ARP. So in total, that gives us 44 different algorithms and we've got 16 user slots in there as well. But as I say, let's try it with, um, with a simple synth line. So just a really simple synth line. Add in the effect. Which is completely different to this. But 
Let's have a look at what all these different knobs do. Obviously this is the mix, the blend, between the dry signal and the affected signal. And then over here we've got the activity, and that changes the amount of stuff that happens on each of these. And on every one of the algorithms it does something slightly different, but let's turn that down for now, and then turn repeats down. So we're not hearing much at all, because we've got very little repeating. Let's turn the repeats up. Let's speed them up. Add some more activity. You can hear there's a lot more happening now. Speed down a bit. Then add some reverb. So this is what we started with. Just creates these really lovely evolving textures. And then we can filter that. Add a bit more reverb. See why it's really popular now, can't you? Let's try another effect. Let's go into sequence. You can hear there that's repeating stuff, can't you? It's sort of creating a sequence out of it. Go to the next one, I think this one, well you can hear it there, it adds different, um, different pitches. And these don't exist in the original tone. So it's creating its own little sequence from it. Speed it up. Try another one. Reduce the activity. Drop the time. It's all in sync this time. Filter that down. And all that again from just this. And that sounds like something complex from a huge modular system, and it's not. It's just four notes from the tracker. It's gorgeous. Let's take a closer look at this shape knob, man. Here I'm using another pad so you can hear how the shape parameter modulates the volume of stuff. So that's the pad on its own. Now I'm bringing in the microcosm. And you can hear that throbbing on or off. Make it faster. Now if I take it to a ramp, it'll ramp up in volume. So it's basically taking each of those granules or each of those grains and it's putting a little volume envelope on. But it drastically affects the actual characteristics of the tone. Much smoother. Then more of a ping, more of a stab. Let's have more going on. All that's coming just from this. Let's go back up to Mosaic, some nice stuff in here.
So that's the shape knob for you. Let's have a listen to some more of these algorithms. Let's go to the, uh, the glide one. This is really cool. And what you find when you're playing with this is that each of the algorithms lends itself better to different types of tones. This blocks one, for example, works well on much more beat-driven stuff. And what I've also noticed while I'm playing with it is that every now and then you get something that's absolutely magnificent. So it's always a good idea just to record everything you're doing, because if you want to use it in a track later, those little snippets are fantastic. really nice little bits in there, wasn't there? But something I did in order to work out exactly what was happening in this is that I used a sample of someone just counting and then you can hear what happens with each of the numbers. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's repeated, sometimes it isn't. So this is a little demo I played actually one of the Polyend Tracker episode using the hologram, but you can hear that all these little things or every time it says a number, it repeats it slightly differently, really nice. These are just so it's never quite the same twice you're never quite sure what you're gonna get but you know you're gonna get something nice so what are my final thoughts Well, you can see why this is such a popular little pedal, can't you? It takes something that's mundane and turns it into something absolutely fabulous. That's why there's loads of YouTube demos of people saying, listen to my rig going through this, because it just makes everything shine. That doesn't come cheap, though. It comes in at $459, I think, from the Hologram website. So not cheap, but really very cool indeed. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, don't forget you can catch it whenever you like on our Clubbing TV official YouTube channel on the From the Studio playlist. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll see what I can do to answer them. And if you are into your synths, your drum machines, your general music tech, do check out my Starsky Car channel as well, where I've got a much deeper dive into this as well. So I'll see you in the next episode of From the Studio. <laughs> <laughs>